winner side match, and that is going to be Fudo versus Haitani. Uh, Jap Japan versus Japan. And again, it's, it's interesting. When Street Fighter V first came out and first started, a lot of people in Japan actually said that Haitani was probably the best Street Fighter V player. But since then, Fudo, he's just, he's risen up so far. Oh, yeah. In, in the tier's second place at EVO. And so he was on the verge. I mean, I remember it looked like that he had figured out infiltration for just a brief moment. He really could have taken Evo. Yeah, uh huh, exactly. And it's then very infiltration close. came back on the loser side and just took out Evo. Right. So, but he, he is extremely strong. For somebody like him to play a character like Mika, somebody that is who has excellent mid range, excellent reactions. And you know is accustomed to playing a game where the mix-ups are important. Uh, I just feel like Mika is a, such a great character. If you can maximize her benefits while minimizing her weaknesses, then you have a pretty good recipe. Well, that's a beautiful use of the punch command throw. Sends Haitani back into the corner and oh. immediately goes for the pressure. Oh, yeah, there it is again. Very small block stun on cross up light. Wow, what a movement time. That was, and that, by the way, was just after Haitani had teched dash forward grab. It's crazy that Fudo just decided to spend all of his meter to get the kill. I think two bars might have been able to do it. But. I mean, maybe, but at the same time, he built that whole super in a round. That's yeah, true. And he can probably get another one the next one. Okay. So great start there for Fudo, taking that first round. Yeah, I really like that dragon punch right there. Just you have to you have to tell Mika's that you know it's not gonna continue. <laughs> you have to keep her uh, keep your defensive options in mind. Wow, wow. so good. He goes for the long version so he gets the juggle afterwards. That's one of the things that Mika's learned to do. They hit confirm. If they see it hits, they hold the buttons down to get the long dash go. And uh, otherwise, they just let her rock right away. So Haitani is doing a really good job of taking standing grabs. You'll see that Mika yeah. has a, a worse normal throw when the opponent's standing. Okay, just gets as much as he can do from there. So expect uh, Mika to go low a little bit more. We'll see if that mix-up comes. In the meantime, Haitani gets the hit, Ooh. and he got the round. Beautiful. Just using the super to get Ooh, over she, there. She has muscle spirit. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Oh wow, just counting right away, but that didn't combo. Oh, nice. beautiful the neutral, neutral jump. jump. Yeah, we talked about the neutral jump being able to blow up the drop kick every once in a while. And that was a perfect example of that. The whip punish oh was there! God. Fudo with the reactions, and now he starts things off. No, patience. Oh, and the jump back light punch. It's a great uh, in a pinch anti-air with reactions. Yeah, he did go low, but Haitani blocked it. Nice! Nothing for my problem. Great patience. Fudo really slowing it down right now. Haitani really slowing it down. They know that next hit's gonna be huge. They both have V triggers ready. Yeah, here comes Haitani's now. You see him looking for the buffer, stand strong. Trying to find something. Instead, just gets thrown. Now here comes the dash go. What's the mix-up? Just using it to stay, the, keep the pressure, and push Nikali into the corner. No uh, real mix-up off of that. Well, it, it, very good defense, very good patience by Haitani. It's a frustrating situation to be in. Here comes Fudo now, trying to move forward. No, Ooh, it was not quite there. Far. Couldn't get super from that range. He got it! Yes! Yes, Fudo! <laughs> is that enough? It is Fudo with the buttons. Was that even a cancel? I feel like he did low jab, stand jab, link into super. Yeah, I, I swear yeah. that's what that looked like he did. Well, Fudo's going to take that first game. Again, one of the most un unassuming oh, looking boy. guys. Just looks like the nicest Fight. guy. But then when he plays you, it is just fearsome and frightening. Yeah, I think, I think stand jab to super is the one frame like. I mean, we've seen Fudo in a previous tournament confirm crouching light kick yeah. into super, yeah. which was ridiculous. His reactions are pretty legendary. Get in there with that crouching heavy punch. You see Haitani trying to fight at, I think, a closer range right now. He doesn't want to just be at that distance. He, he'd rather battle. Uh, well, that, well, there was a very interesting tell that we just saw that Haitani decided to spend a meter 
off a of V-reversal against the drop kick because Nikali is so good in V-trigger that to spend some of that meter on a V-reversal means the game plan has kind of changed a little bit. Okay, here's Haitani now. He's going to get super. And he doesn't need to spend it. Game or round, I should say, goes to Haitani. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I, I mentioned that, and yet somehow he still managed to get the V-trigger in that round, and that's what helped him win. Oh, no, too far for that to connect. Both trying to find the hits. And Haitani with the crouching strong after... Wow, all right. This is going to be big movement into the corner. A lot of red on that life bar now. Oh, a lot oh, of red, yeah. even more! And in the Stun? back, the orange oh, no, is the he problem. Goes, he goes for the reset, but catches him. That should do it for this round. Oh, wait, that's, that's what he right. goes for here. That's right. He's not, probably not going to spend all that. Yeah. Here. The patience. He didn't quite get the last hit. Haitani's alive still. Oh, Haitani is my. more than alive right now. He just needs... Two more hits, and he can take this game still. Both of, did you didn't see get it. a neutral jump from Fudo on Wake Up? Final Looking round. for command grab? Could be, Fight. could be. Very insistent about moving forward right now is Fudo. He does, though, you know, he, he goes in, and then he'll back off. He'll play patiently. That's something that he did in... SF4 with Faye as well, the mix-up between those two uh, all often pays off. The whiff! I mean, as, as much pressure as Budo has tried to exhibit, Haitani has not lost any ground on the stage. In fact, he's only gained ground. Huge oh, neutral jump, yeah. the timing! And now Haitani getting close, advantage, and in fact, Fudo pressed the button even still. Uh-oh, here we go. This is what Mika needs. Using that V reversal timing again to turn around the pressure from Mika and to get through Nadeshko. Fudo's gonna have to make something big happen at this moment. He knows it. You can see some of the choices he's making are with that in mind. The charged roundhouse. Oh, okay. okay. It was a crouch block too. Super's ready. Ooh. Oh, that could have been super. That could be super. It that should be. He be got super. it. What a risk to take by Haitani. And that's it. Fudo takes it 2-0 on the strength of blocked overhead and punish with three frame super. Yeah, that super, if I'm not mistaken, is one frame startup, correct? I think it's, yeah, I think it's like one, then two after, something like that. Yeah, so... Those overheads are usually around minus two, minus three on block. So yeah, great reaction to not only block the overhead, but to know to have something ready to respond to it yep. right away. And uh, let's take a look, a closer look at that match with our friends in the back. Zienski on the Score Esports replay. An incredible set. Fudo, known for his footsies, Comes into Street Fighter V and just has this immense corner pressure. Haitani has to figure out a way to deal with it. And you saw that neutral jump. One of the ways that he would deal with the Mika pressure all over the place, in fact. And uh, that one would have led to stun. But here, wake up button from Fudo. He shows that he's always aware. He's always ready and gets the super. Awesome use of that critical art. Just showing new utility here. That was an unsafe roll. But there, during the scramble, it just seems like Fudo had come out on top as he had baited out that uppercut from Haitani twice, uh, not a easy task by any means. And look at this patience exhibited here. Just perfect frame knowledge as he stood up last minute to block that with a perfect pixel reversal into the Nade Shiko with that sandwich into the ground for the KO. Back to you, homeboys. Thanks, muchachos. So in the meantime, just to let you a little